All right, good luck with that. Now then, they were the two words that struck fear into the hearts of a load of 90s TV wannabes. And as Gladiators makes an epic comeback, we can exclusively reveal three of the new athletes taking part. And here they are! Goodness me, welcome. Come and have a seat. Oh, you are Thank you very much. Enormous. Woo -woo. Wow. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is all very, very exciting. I'm a massive fan of, of the original show. I know most of you grew up watching it as well, didn't yep, you? Yeah, definitely. Um, and it's back, which is brilliant. So let's start off with you, first of all. So explain who you are. So I'm Giant. Makes I've been sense. told to uh, the show the bit of the leg. Jesus. A bit of a reason why. Yeah. Obviously, giant by name, giant by nature. Yeah. How tall are you? Six foot five. Six foot five. Yeah, and you're you have a you're a former bodybuilder, yes. and you have a key move, which is a a lat spread. What's a lat spread? I will show you. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> so it's to look as more giant and more wide as possible, and you just literally flare the lats like this. Oh my! There we go. God. So that would be my signature move for the show. Yes, you were, good. Yeah, scare it people even more. It you <laughs> are one of the all-time tallest bodybuilders in history. Yes. Um, I mean, clearly, coming up against you is going to be terrifying. I think I'd be pretty scared myself. Would you? <laughs> and, and, and for you, getting involved, this was like a no-brainer. Oh, for sure. Um, I mean, I've been competing in bodybuilding for years, and this was a, a great route out for something different and something that I watched as a child, and then, uh, you know, absolute pleasure to be a part of it. Oh, good. Well, enjoy it, won't you? And then next up, we've got Legend here. Yeah. And Legend, you strike me as somebody that is extremely confident. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm glad you've picked up on that, yeah. I, <laughs> so, ultimately, Legend really is, is a descriptive name. In the same way that Giant is Giant because he's massive. Yeah. I'm Legend because... You're a legend. Basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah essentially. I mean, like, I am, I am a confident guy, <laughs> and ultimately, I'm just extremely good at doing stuff, basically. Well, you are a former bronze medal long and triple jumper, silver medal power lifter, performed to uh, huge audiences as a successful fitness influencer on YouTuber, uh, 355 million views in total. So um, that is, some of that is legendary status. Um, would, w are you coming at this like the sort of Marmite gladiator? Oh, I mean, that's, that's out of my control. I mean, ba basically, the beauty of legend is, right, that... It's basically just me, to be honest. If anything, when I'm, when I'm not legend, when I'm myself, I have to actively avoid saying certain things and doing certain things, where it's now it's like me, just unfiltered. Do you right. know what I mean? So occasionally like, you'll just actually think in your head, I am legend. This is finally a chance just yeah. to... Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. I mean, I like, I like the confidence. You're a gladiator. You've got to have that. Thank and finally, much. here on the sofa, representing the ladies, we have got fire. <laughs> it's so it. lovely to meet you as well. And you, I mean, you, again, you yourself have done all sorts of different bits. So just explain what your pedigree is coming to this. So, yeah, I'm fire, um, fire and fearless, um, but also I'm a bit of a firecracker. So it's going to be really difficult to put me out. Yeah. Um, so I'm coming from sprinting, bobstay background. So uh -huh. first British woman to do both Olympic Games. Yeah, that's very impressive. Yeah, I mean, that, that, it's, it's impressive. Uh, held the British women's record for the fastest 100 metre sprint, uh, smashing a 27 year unbeaten record. Uh, made sporting history to become the first, as you said, female UK athlete to compete in both the summer and winter uh, Olympic Games. You know, so that. That, that is a, a hell of a pedigree. Yes, it is. And so what made you, other than that, what made you want to get involved and do this in such a public arena? Oh, Gladiators is just like the ultimate show, isn't it? Um, mm. Watching from when I was younger, um, every Saturday night with the family, it's just been insane. So to be a part of the Gladiators now and, and to go for it, it just felt like the, the right time for me, especially in my career. But also, I think I've embodied everything that a gladiator is, um, in terms of that, like you said, legendary status, but also just that work ethic and, and having fun with it as well, because, you know, it's a family show. Yeah, you want to have fun with it. Yeah. Um, obviously, there's this real nostalgia attached to it, and there are some of the original games coming back. There are some new and exciting games as well. Do you each have things that you're best at? I mean, what sort of games are you looking forward to doing? Yeah, I think, obviously, it goes without saying, my strength and stature and size is going to be formidable on things like Jewel and Gauntlet. Yeah. Um, Trying to run past me on the gun, it's going to be a hard t challenge. And, you know, the duel, as you can see, that's what I'm really looking forward to. I, I think I can be undefeated on that. 
Do you, do you practice against the other gladiators at the moment? We're going into training very soon. Right. Um, so, Legends, I think, are going to get knocked down a peg or two by me on that. Oh, so you get competitive amongst yourselves. Yeah. <laughs> it's awkward for me, obviously, because... I'm good at yeah. basically good at all of the events, but <laughs> right. if I like to choose probably the wall and hang tough are the ones I'm most looking forward the to. The wall and hang tough. I'm having to hold myself. Are you quicker than him? Yes, but <laughs> like when it comes down to gladiator versus gladiator action in training, for example, yeah. Yeah. I will deliberately deliberately kind of holding back because you know I don't want to obviously if I just beat him straight away consistently, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's gonna go into the show feeling And the know, thing is probably yeah. whilst they're <laughs> so, <laughs> ridiculously competing, you'll come in and do it uh, and, and finish it much quicker. So, yeah, of uh, course, because none of them are faster than me. Yeah, of yeah that, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to bring like speed and power um, and just kind of like you guys can bring the strength. Do you have, because we have um, Dr. Zoe, who is on this show, was a gladiator. Yeah. She's, she was Amazon. Uh, so, uh, and there she is. I know, there which she is. Which is uh, amazing. Do you have your own legendary gladiators that, uh, that you, you remember or look up to? Well, definitely. I think everyone uh, remembers old gladiators when you watch and stuff. For me, especially being like a female athlete now, growing up, seeing obviously like the likes of Jet was just oh, she incredible. Was my I remember too. a lot of people's favourite, and the guys have got their favourites that they know as well mm. within the team. Like, as a child, I had like a, a life size holographic poster of Wolf on my wall for a solid five Did years. Did you like people. Wolf? Yeah, it's just that the, makes the best sense. One. No yeah. one's <laughs> there. Yeah, it's just the best one. There you go. Gone. There it is. He was a great members. character. He really was. What about you? Well, I actually got to know. Um, um, quite well through bodybuilding, Panther and Hunter. Oh, did you? So I still speak to them now, um, and they'll probably find out that I've actually got to be a gladiator on the show because I, uh... I was sworn to secrecy, so they're probably going to hate me. Oh, so nice <laughs> to let this secret out. This is exclusive. I mean, this yes. is... Yeah. yeah. This is I've the been big, hanging on to it for so long. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very well, cool. you're the you're legend slipped brilliant. a little bit there, then, I didn't know. it? I know. looked excited. Listen, well done. It's... Filming for the BBC um, is uh, going to start soon. It's at the Utilita uh, Arena in Sheffield. Um, I think we're going to get to see it in June. Yeah. It's hosted by Brad and Barney Walsh, which I mean, is amazing. I mean, they're going to look it's, after you. It's yeah. going to be a great comeback, and it's lovely to see you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Can't wait to watch it. Thank, Thank you very much. You. Right, Thank you guys. enjoy.